Okay. It is Python on hardware time. I got a few things going on. Um, highlights of the week this week. We've got, um, well, we've got the full newsletter. And the newsletter is bursting with hardware and software projects, Python news from around the world. We have a lot of stuff going on. So what I try to do each week is um, pick out something uh, or a few things that uh, if you don't have time to read the whole newsletter, you can listen to this video or you can watch it and you can kind of see what's going on. So this week, um, we have a circuit Python update. Um, major things, I guess, um, Lamar, we just merged in the MicroPython 1.18 changes. Yeah, um, there's there's two versions. We have a beta and uh, 1.3, uh, sorry, 7.3 beta. Um, yeah, we merged in 1.18. We're doing a little bit of USB host support. Uh, since Scott's out, there's not going to be as much uh, development, but we're doing a lot of bug fixes. Uh, yeah. So check out 7.2.4, which has bug fixes in it. And then I saw this was kind of cool. Um, this was um, a person who made documentation for their Joypad and Lumos ring with CircuitPython, and they made documentation look not so boring. And it's this app um, that you, you type in stuff, but it makes it look like more hand-drawn. Mm. And uh, I was trying it out real quick, and I'm just like, oh, this is really neat. It has like oh, a sketch that's a thing. nice little diamond. Yeah, so it's called uh, Excalidraw. Um, yeah, so, so check it out. And it's in the newsletter. And like these are the type of tips and tricks and things that we also put in there. Like if you wanted to have a flow chart on how the code works, or if you're using um, CircuitPython for ed education, which a lot of people are, um, and if you're doing your documentation, you know, you don't have to use like very boring um, static looking art or graphics. You can, mm. you can do something that looks, um, you know, a little bit more interesting. I so. love the look of like a hand sketch. So. Yeah, and I, I like what this the, the person who is working on this they said. It says it may look a little bit gimmicky, but they like how it softens the otherwise clinical looking content. It's true. It's like, yeah. you know, we only have a few minutes to inspire someone to to want to code or do something. So anything you can do. Um, and thanks for the folks who posted in the chat. It's kind of cool. Um, and then next up, this one has been uh, making the rounds. This is <laughs> Circuit Python Linux, sort of. Uh, yeah. On a Pico. So um, this is a, here it is, and uh, it boots up. It's uh, Linuxy, and uh, the GitHub repo is available. And one of the things I like about it is uh, on the the text on the repo, it says, "Important note: Do not take this project seriously. This is not a real Linux distribution." It's a little kind of fakey, fakey thing. But, yeah. But that's what when Linus posted about Linux, it's like this is not a real Unix distribution. Like this is just a joke. Well, like, that's what's why it's Linux. Yeah. <laughs> And so if you want, you can go to GitHub and check this out. It's bill 88 slash L-J, L-I-N-U-X, Linux. 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 Linux? Yeah. And then um, another one, I thought this was neat. This was over on um, Instructables. And for me, I'm starting to see, like, projects in the past that would be kind of hard to do, or maybe they would use something It's like, okay, like, here's 50,000 steps to do just one simple thing. Um, I'm seeing tons of CircuitPython projects on Instructables. So if you wanted to make a Mac, uh, Infinity macro pad um, like this, uh, there's a full Instructable available now. And then the last bit of uh, Python news this week is over on our press section, we're, we're keeping track of this um, because the Raspberry Pi shortage is in the news a lot. And uh, we're mentioned. So uh, production and supply chain updates. This was over on raspberrypi.com. And Eben, the founder, has an update about what's going on and more. And here's a quote um, from him directly. These backlogs of board variety Pi units is fast or is faster, faster than we can produce them. With the result of that little of production volume ends up being immediately available on reseller websites. Where units do appear, bots often attempt to uh, buy up the stock, which then could be resold at higher prices elsewhere. Many approved resellers. Oh, wow. This is. Uh, Your computer's like, time to update. Yeah, the computer's <laughs> like, well, I want to update now. Uh, many pre resellers have been implementing single unit limits to combat this, with Adafruit and others going further and enforcing two factor authentication. We're encouraging other approved resellers to go this route. So that's what our reminder is again. There's a lot of people who are doing Python on hardware specifically with Raspberry Pi. So please, please, please make an account on Adafruit, verify the account, do two factor authentication. And if you want to go to our press section, adafruit.com slash press, and work keeping track of all the different news stories and the websites that have Raspberry Pi availability. Um, we're also mentioned in a lot of these on some of the things we're doing. So um, that is the Python on hardware news 
this week. Thank you, Blinka. Okay.